and welcome to the first and last episode of Kirsty's Mess. No, I'm just kidding. I actually spent two hours cleaning in preparation of this video, which is going to be my closet slash bedroom tour because basically my bedroom is the size of an average person's walk-in closet. Okay, it's not that serious, it's not that small, but it is pretty small and my closet takes up most of this room. So unfortunately for poor Matthew, he has to sacrifice his moving around space in order to make room for my clothes. Um, but it's okay, he, like, he, he deals with it very graciously, let's just put it like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys around my room and around all the closet nooks and crannies that I have been able to incorporate into this small space and show you how I store all of my clothes. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kirsty, and I upload two fashion related videos a week and I would love it if you would hit the... the and I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, so we're gonna move from the one corner of the room to the opposite corner of the room and I'm gonna start with my first um, chest of drawers. It's this three drawer one from Ikea. It's the Malm one and I got it in the dark um, black brown color. I actually have two of these but I painted the other one out white just because it's next to my white cupboard and I thought that that looked better. Um, I'm not going to open these drawers because they are a mess but I will tell you the top one is my underwear which really you don't really need to see. Um, and the second one is stuffed full of summer clothes clothes which I have more of downstairs because we have a storage unit in our basement so there's more clothes down there and then the bottom drawer is just our bed linens and I keep a little candle on here and some lights but in reality there's also usually a stack of empty boxes on here from online orders. This monstrosity you see behind me is actually my favorite thing in this room and it's our 50 inch TV. We basically have a home theater and this is where the magic happens and by the magic I mean we lie in bed, cuddle and watch movies and Netflix most of the night. Okay, um, but that's definitely not closet or clothing related. Uh, moving on to the door, which usually is always open because actually it cannot close. If you look over there, the closing rack blocks the entry of the doorway. That's how little space we have here. So normally this door is always open. But on the back of it, I have this shoe rack and I keep all of my shoes here. So the bottom row are basically shoes that I never really wear and that's why they are at the bottom. But I hold on to some of them for sentimental value, like this pair of shoes, which is very dusty. You can see is the first pair of shoes that Matthew bought for me 10 years ago. Um, that's a really long time ago. Um, but yeah, they basically aren't really my style and I wouldn't necessarily wear them anymore, but I don't really want to get rid of them either. And the rest of them I have on a website, but nobody wants to buy them because they are basically not of this age. Uh, they're not really stylish anymore. A little bit further up, I have all of my sneakers and some of Matthew's as well. These two are Matthew's, the clean ones, and the rest are mine. Um, these are my workout shoes. These are shoes that I don't really wear that much, but they were super expensive and they're Italian and I don't want to get rid of them. And then I have my Nikes over here, my white Adidas sneakers that I wear the most. I wear these a ton and you've seen them in my videos if you watch my videos. <laughs> Moving up another row, I just have some ankle booties here. These are all from Mango. And then moving up even more, I have, these are actually my summer mules, but they're more of a transitional piece because they're black. Uh, my heels from Sasha that I picked up recently. And then just my little loafers from Zara. Moving up more, these are summer shoes, which I will not wear now. And some of these I actually pro probably won't wear again, like these orange ones. I'm not really about that anymore. And I'm kind of over these as well, but yeah. Uh, I'm not going to think about that until it warms up again and then all the way at the top I just have some booties which have a high shaft and they don't fit further down but these are probably the ones that I wear the very most and yeah that is my shoe storage we actually have another little cupboard in um, our entryway where there's more shoes like my combat boots and stuff like that that don't uh, fit here so yeah Lots of shoes. <laughs> Moving on, I have my clothing rack here. Um, 
I have another pair of shoes at the bottom there, but that's just my over the knee boots. And then I keep uh, most of my coats and jackets on here just because it's close to the doorway and I don't actually have a coat closet, so I have to keep them here. Uh, but y'all, yeah, <laughs> this is the one thing that Matthew has on this rack. You can see how like how fair the division of space is here. Um, but I just have jackets here, moving on to some cardigans and sweaters, and then my new little leather dress that I picked up. And then my first and probably only tip really in this video is going to be that I always keep my newest stuff on this rack all the way on the end of this rack. So I recently did an order at Stradivarius and I picked up this gray coat and a couple of other things like this polka dot dress. So whenever I get new items, I keep them on the end of this rack with the label still on them. I don't even see where the label is. The label is on, I promise. <laughs> but anyway, that way I can see how often I grab for them in the first month that I have them because Stradivarius has a 30 day return period. And if I don't end up grabbing for them within the first three and a half weeks, then I will usually return the stuff because I have very limited space and I don't want it to be taken up by items that I'm not gonna grab for that much. So y'all, yeah, in case you were wondering where all the clothes are from the halls, this is the thing that I do. I show you guys the clothes I buy in the hall and then it will hang on the end of my rack for the first 30 days. And all the stuff that I don't grab for or wear will be returned because really it's a waste of money and it's a waste of space to keep those things. Moving on to the actual wardrobe, I have this uh, Pax wardrobe from Ikea and I got the shallow one because really the other one would take up too much space in this tiny room and there's already no space to walk. I went for, I really wanted an open shelving type of situation because I obviously love clothes and I want them to be visible. What I do do with this and my tip would be if you have open shelving situation in your own house is to keep it sort of somewhat color coordinated so i have a lot of grays out on display just because i have a lot of gray stuff by the way because this is the shallow one it doesn't have a um a rod it just has these things that stick out that you can hang things on and they do pull out but i don't really ever do that um, but i just hang a few lightweight jackets and blazers on here and then on the other one i hang some of my smaller handbags so this beaded one is from zara this one is from zara my fanny pack my other newer belt bag and then back here is a bag from mango and i have my one of my baker boy hats up there but y'all um all the clothes that are on display sort of fit within one color theme except for these bits that are up here because these are um, just bits that I've been wearing lately and that I've been loving and I like the way that they look up here. This is actually a new cardigan that I got for the How to Style Basics video which by the way is coming to you next week but it is absolutely freezing outside and if you guys watch my videos then you know that I always film all my looks outside without a coat and it feels like approximately minus six degrees celsius right now so we decided to do like a switcheroo and move the videos around anyway moving back to the closet um i have this shelf which i have obviously these sweaters on and then just my work bag and then i have another shelf which i have my t-shirts and fine knit sweaters that i grab for the most on and my uh, chunkier knits which i also wear a lot which are in the same color spectrum as every Everything I have on display and then these are actually all of my jeans from dark to light and then I feel like this is a lot of me telling you where I put my clothes but I guess that's what these videos are about um, I put two drawers into this closet the first one is this one in which I keep my long sleeve shirts and t-shirts my little camisoles and other little blouses and tops here I have my skirts and here I have my trousers my leather one my pinstripe my patent is getting one down there and then in the bottom drawer I have my sweatshirts my button downs there's a whole lot of them here these are my workout pants which I just rolled up and put in like this because that makes them more easily accessible and I do try and work out more new year new me and all that and these are my workout shirts so we actually almost ready through this. I actually feel like I don't really have that many clothes, but then again, while I'm filming this, I think I might have a lot of clothes. I don't know, like it's, it's like, 
You know how that feels like you have a whole lot of clothes and nothing to wear? That's basically my life every day even though I have tons to wear. Moving on to my final little bit of storage and that is my other IKEA mom drawer. This was the same as that one and I did a horrible botched up job painting it white. As you can see there's like a little chip out here and yeah. Let's just not even talk about my painting skills because I didn't know which brush to use and there's like little pieces of the roller stuck into the paint. Anyway, doesn't matter, it looks fine, like it doesn't bother me, whatever. Um, the top drawer is something I'm not gonna show you again because it's a mess and it's just basically my jewelry, my sunglasses, a hair dryer and a whole lot of random stuff. The second drawer is where I keep my excess sweaters that I actually do wear a lot but that don't necessarily fit my color scheme of my closet or my actual wardrobe. And then the final drawer is just some stuff that I actually don't really wear that much like this for example is a Christmas sweater and there's another Christmas sweater underneath that. These are just some sort of like more pajama-ish type of shirts. And then these are my safari jackets, which I do wear, but not as much as I should for the amount that I have. Okay, so that is it. That is my closet, all of the wardrobe that I could fit into this tiny room. I hope that you guys liked this video, even though it wasn't really that informative. Like I didn't give you lots of organizing tips or anything like that. To be honest, I'm probably the one that needs organizing tips. If you like this video, I would love it if you would leave a like down below and comment if you think that I have a lot of clothes because I didn't used to think that I have a lot of clothes and Matthew always says I have a lot of clothes like this is an ongoing discussion but after the filming this video I tend to agree with him and think that I actually do. Anyway um, next week I have my how to style basics, how to style cardigans which is the same like how to style basics and in that cardigans coming and another video that I'm not sure about yet so yeah I'll see you guys next week for those and have a great rest of your Sunday evening or whatever evening of the day it is where you are and where you are watching and when you are watching. Okay, bye guys.